baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Welcome back to the Late Great Show. I am your host, Aaron Monte. Here's this week's news. Greg Gianforte, Republican candidate in Montana's special congressional election, allegedly assaulted a political reporter from The Guardian by body slamming him. Yes, you heard that right. Body slamming him. While there is no video of the incident, we do have the audio. Take a listen. ...to the CBO score, because you know you were waiting to make your decision about health care until you saw the bill and it just came out. And what yeah, you and we'll talk it. to you about that later. Yeah, but there's not going to be time. I'm just curious if you okay, have the speak right with now. Shane, please. But you don't... Just... I'm sick and tired of you guys! The last Jesus time you came in here, you did the same thing! Get the hell out of here! Jesus! Get the hell out of here! The last guy did the same thing. You were the guardian? Yes, and you just broke my glasses. You, the last guy did the same damn thing. You just body slammed me and broke my glasses. Get the hell out of here. You'd like me to get the hell out of here, I'd also like to call the police. Can I get you guys' names? Hey, hey, you gotta leave. He just body slammed me. You gotta leave. That's some crazy stuff, man. That's some crazy stuff, man. Look, apparently the reporter named Ben Jacobs, and I quote, entered the office without permission, aggressively shoved a recorder in Greg's face, and began asking badgering questions. He was also asked to lower his phone from Greg's face and to leave. He didn't do either one, and Greg lost it. He reportedly grabbed Jacobs by the neck and slammed him to the ground. Oh my God, I wish... I just wish there was some video of this. But since there isn't any here at Blurred Culture, we made our own video to kind of show you what it may have looked like. But you gotta just I'm sick and tired of you guys. The last Jesus guy that came Christ. in here, you did the same thing. Get the hell out of here. Jesus. Probably an accurate representation of what went on. Now, honestly, can you blame Gianforte? I mean, Ben Jacobs should have respected his space. Stay out of his bubble. This is his area. Do not get in his area. Those, these are elementary school rules. That's why we learn them, so we can use them later in life. It's just like Pythagorean theorem. We all use it every day. It's no different with the bubble rule. And honestly, Ben Jacobs looks like a guy who will invade people's personal space. Look at this picture. Look at this. Oh my God. I want to body slam him. He didn't even do anything to me. I want to body slam him right now. It wouldn't take much for me to do it either. Just the smallest, the smallest thing. You just, I'd do it, man, in a heartbeat. I mean, I mean, I don't think that Gianforte was right for putting hands on the dude, but look at him. Look at the, look at the picture again. I had to see it, so you got to see it more often too. He looks like, you know, the kid in class who used to remind the teacher to assign homework after they forgot to give the homework. He even tweeted, look, look at this tweet that he sent. Oh, he body slammed me just now. Mm. We don't tweet that. Come on now, man. Look, if you're gonna tweet that, at least make it funny or something. But you just, you look weak, man. Get it together. Our next story. I'd like to take a break from comedy for a second and uh, talk about something you probably all heard about on May 22nd at 1033. Manchester Arena in Britain was attacked during an Ariana Grande concert, killing 22 people and injuring 59. More and more details are being released as authorities learn more about the incident. Um, but here at Blurred Culture, we would like to send our sincere thoughts and condolences to the victims and the family of the victims. And the, here's the thing about thoughts and condolences, though. We've done this plenty of times, over and over again. And thoughts and condolences are nice, of course, but we need to find solutions as a people. Find solutions as a people, as a world community, so we don't have to send any more thoughts and condolences. Get ahead of the curve. Back to the comedy. Our third story. A homing pigeon. Are you kidding me? You're two stories late. You give me the drink upside down. That wasn't even crisp enough. Okay. Third story. A homing pigeon was caught trying to smuggle drugs into Kuwait. Ecstasy. So it's lit. Authorities tracked the bird through Iraq, then caught it at the border with a backpack filled with 178 pills. So it's even more litter than it thought it was. How the police were tipped off to find the bird, I will never know. However, I can just imagine them searching random pigeons throughout the inner city to try to find the pigeon with the pills on them. 
you know, random teenage pigeons getting searched. Like, yo, man, what are you searching? Me? What are you searching me for? I didn't even. I haven't done anything, officer. I haven't. I bet you're not searching these doves out here like that, though. I bet you're not searching these doves. Police talking about, sir. I, you match the profile. I just need to search you for a second. Please cooperate. Stop resisting. Stop resisting, sir. Sir. That got dark again. But I'm just just stop the pigeon brutality. That's all I'm saying. Uh, it's obvious that it's the bird with the backpack too. By the way, it's the guy. It's that's that one with the backpack. That's your bad, police. That's your bad. This is the late great show. I'm your host, Aaron Monte. Have a good night. Oh, moment is in. Baby, I like it raw.